guys. We're just driving to Antelope Island here. So Antelope Island State Park is a famous spot in Salt Lake City here in Utah. Famous because there's wild herds of buffalo as well as antelope, the pronghorn antelope. There's also a bighorn sheep here um, and muskrats. I made up the muskrat thing, but there could be. We're on a causeway right now. So we're driving over to the island. Um, the water levels are low, so you can see there's it's all dried up here right now. We're gonna try to see if we can hike up to that peak as you see over there. The island is 15 miles long, so it's quite a big island. There's lots to see and do on there. Hiking trails and beaches, so uh, stay tuned for that. It didn't take us long to spot some wild buffalo up here. There's one and two. Two guys just laying there, chewing on some grass probably. But I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more. Yeah, they are wild buffalo, 100% wild buffalo. They take care of them, uh, the park takes care of them and stuff, but yeah, definitely wild. And hopefully we see some pronghorn antelopes, that'd be really cool too. Bugs here are atrocious. There's so many mosquitoes and flies everywhere, but uh, look how green the grass is. Obviously, you've been fertilized by these buffalo. We did watch a video yesterday that said the bugs on the island are so bad, so. <laughs> They're gigantic. I don't like it. It's a nightmare. So we're up here on Frary Peak Trailhead, and we're gonna hike up to Frary Peak. I don't even know how long it is, do you? Um, it is... 3.2 miles. miles, so 5.1 kilometers, and that's like uphill, so it sounds like nothing. You're like, oh, 3.2 miles, no big deal. But when you're going uphill, it's probably a heck of a hike and we came up to this parking lot here and all of a sudden there was even taller mountains we're like what the that's how it always goes you're like whoa we're driving up to the top of the mountain and then it's like wait a minute Great salt lake out there. An inland sea, basically. Saltier than the ocean. It'll actually be buoyant if you go floating there. But the bugs are so bad right now down on the beach. Oh lordy. You won't want to go there. It's nasty. Nasty. All right. Came to another peak here. Just incredible views. You can see some snowy peaks over there. Not a cloud in the sky. 
there is a lot of haze that's uh pollution from salt lake city i think every time we came into this valley on this trip uh it would just be smoggy and there's 1.2 million people who live in the metro area so yeah there's a lot of traffic i think the smog just gets stuck in the valley but gorgeous nonetheless like see how high that peak is there see i thought we were going up to here but i don't know how oh no the trail cuts across we are going up to there because Ferry peak was supposed to be the highest peak on the island and then when we pulled up i thought maybe we were doing this one here but uh then i saw this even higher one and i'm like wait and then the trail is cutting across so wow we got a lot of hiking to do <laughs> that's what that's what i realized came to some kind of a plateau here. Big flat spot up here, but uh, I think we have work to do. Somewhere up there. All right, we came to a sign here. Frary Peak, 2.5 miles still. Wow. So we can now see the other side of the Great Salt Lake. I believe it has been shrinking in the recent years, drying up. You can see the huge beach down there. When the Spanish first came here to Utah, they actually thought they were looking at the Pacific Ocean. Whether they thought it was an inlet or, I could see how you would think it was an inlet for sure. It's pretty massive. So this island was inhabited by the uh, Fremont people, a very ancient culture of Native Americans. Now it's just a park. And you can see pronghorn on here. I wonder where pronghorn would be. That's why it's called Antelope Island because um, pronghorn is a species of antelope. Similar to the African antelope. There's another herd of buffalo on this other side here. There's apparently hundreds of buffalo. Thousands, is there? Okay, I'll put the exact number on the screen because not really sure. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch there. All right, we're up on the peak here, taking a break. We've got some pumpkin ale here from Wasatch Brewery. Where is this made? Salt Lake City. That's pretty damn local. <laughs> Cheers, buddies. Ooh -wee. Let's try this bad boy. God, I love pumpkin ale. Don't you guys? Chestnut ale, pumpkin ale, so good. Why there's bison on the island it's because john dooley the guy who owned the island back in 1893 brought like a handful of buffalo to the island and then they just multiplied over the years and now you see hundreds of them i think there's some way over there too we're wondering if there's bushes or rocks or buffalo can't really see that close all right continuing on we're gonna get as far as we can up to Frary Peak, but it looks like this hike is so long. But yeah, it says 2.5 miles up here, so I don't, unless it's just crazy straight uphill. We'll see. Some people went way ahead of us because we were eating lunch and haven't seen them come back down, so that means it's quite long. We'll see.
So we've been just scanning the hillside, looking for antelope or bighorn sheep. There's coyotes, there's a whole bunch of different types of animals. Badgers, I think, uh, ostriches. I heard that oh, owl. owl, yeah, that makes sense. There's no ostriches, I lied about that, but. Yeah, the, the salty crocodile in the salt lake, yeah. Sure, a little bit cold in there, I think. One, no idea what that is. Hopefully that's not one mile. <laughs> the first part is like straight up hill though. Now it's kind of level, but this hill looks very volcanic. Obviously, uh, got these huge boulders here, but it's like volcanic rock falling down. So you can camp on this island as well. Uh, I don't know where the campsites are, maybe down the road. The road is quite long actually. It goes along the entire one side of the uh, island. this like rock cave thing oh that's pretty neat Whoa. I didn't know this was here Ooh. oh that's pretty sweet Buffalo down there. He's just wandering all by himself. We ran into another one of those little like quail things. I'll look up the name and put it on the screen if I figure it out. But they're like little quails, but they don't sound like the same as the ones we have in the Okanagan. See him there? Some kind of pheasant or something. He looks delicious. Just playing. All right, so we're getting up there. How are you feeling, Venus? Tired. Tired, yeah, we're... Whew, we've been going for two hours, and yeah, I don't know, it's, it's quite a high mountain. We can just see up there. It still keeps going and going and going. That's always how it is, you underestimate it. And then the sun is, of course, beaming down on us because we're in the desert, basically. We'll try to make it as far as we can. We'll see. That's all I can say. We'll see. Ooh, naughty. 1.5. We're gassing out hard. <laughs> it's just really hot. It's up in the mid 20s today, probably, but it's um zero clouds. So, and there's no trees to like, you know what I mean? Get some shade. There is nowhere to get shade at all. some kind of flat spot crazy panoramic views here Whew. so tired still gotta go up that way I don't know we gonna do it <clears throat> no more water just an ice cube <laughs> underestimated how much water we would need of course and our car is way down there it's like a speck. And when you look on all trails, we're not even halfway there, it looks like. Oh man. <laughs> oh. I think when you look online, it says 3.5 miles, which totally seems easy, but then 
it's all straight up hill for the first <laughs> 1.5 miles i guess it was all we came that's 1.5 miles to our car i guess but it's all straight up hill basically so aside from a couple little uh, flat spots we didn't even really honestly plan anything out we we're like maybe we'll hike that peak all right venus spotted a bunch of buffalo moving along the beach there look at that a line of them huh it's probably like a hundred or more crazy snake look at it sitting on the rock here i don't know what kind of snake it is no idea look at all the bison down there now we're gonna go drive by them check them out up close we're trying to race down to the bottom so we can actually scope out all these bison that you can see in the background there i'll zoom in Right, guys we are down from the hike we're driving to see the buffalo now um it took us three hours to do that we didn't even get to the top so imagine if we get to the top probably takes at least four hours or so and we would have had to bring more water so whatever we need to see the buffalo anyway mm -hmm. 